guys and welcome back to my channel it's princess Renny here and <gasps> did you hear oh my gosh did you hear though no like for real did you hear all right all right all right, all right. i'll tell you i'll tell you so your girl made 200 subscribers yeah! <laughs> i'll be trying to like contain the noise and the craziness because i have neighbors but I'm very, very excited. Um, I know this means a lot more than just me. A lot of you guys have subscribed to the channel because of the content or whatever other reason you might be joining the channel. I appreciate you guys. And um, I just wanted to let you guys know as of July 1st, we reached 200 subscribers. But today, July 8th, we're actually at 223 subscribers. So for all of you guys that are here that are part of the family, welcome and thank you for joining uh thank you for rocking with me i hope that you guys continue to enjoy the content and we're only going to get better from here um for those of you if it's your very first time uh seeing any of my videos just go ahead and join our family we're 223 strong and we're growing every single day we would love to have you just scroll down and click the subscribe button or you'll be able to see my picture at the bottom of your screen. You can go ahead and tap on my picture and you'll be able to subscribe that way. Uh, you definitely don't want to miss the different videos that I'm posting. So make sure that you also click on that bell button so that you're always notified whenever I post a new video. With that being said, my 223 or let's have a little silent applause for the 224th person or everyone else that's hitting that subscribe button right now. A round of applause for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We welcome you, we welcome you. Uh, <laughs> with that being said, here on this channel, we post about faith, we post about lifestyle, as well as natural hair. Today's video is gonna be a lifestyle video where I'll be talking about the different things that I bought during the quarantine. <laughs> There was going to be a lot of stuff that I bought from Shein Home, but I also bought a few goodies, like, um, I think I bought, like, some shirts and stuff, but you guys are going to see in this video. By the way, guys, just a heads up, this video was recorded and the items that I purchased were purchased way before I knew that Shein was canceled, so now I am a bit more aware that Shein is canceled. If for whatever reason you might be offended by the fact that I supported this company before it was canceled, uh, please go ahead and you can hop off of the video. I don't want anyone to feel offended, but I had already recorded this video and edited it, so it is going out. Without further ado, uh, we're going to get right into this video. I don't want to keep you guys too long because it's a lot of stuff, okay? So the first thing I'm going to start off with is my Shein haul. And for my Shein haul, I bought so many things. I actually already opened it up. Um, the first package, it was so many that they had to separate it. So the very first thing that I bought or like that came was this um, fridge organizer. So it comes with these two things here. And basically you just slide it into the fridge or like onto that shelf hook these parts on and then you could just slide it out, slide it back in. The main reason that I got this was because I wanted to organize my refrigerator a bit more. I expected it to be much bigger than it is right now, but I'm sure there's still some stuff that I can organize and put in here, like my small like fruits, um, fruit cups, different like snacks that need to stay in the freezer, not the freezer, in the refrigerator. So um, yeah, this is definitely what I'm gonna be using it for. And I have a giant bin here for all the products and stuff that I am not necessarily like putting away right now so um, I'm just gonna place them in here and then I'll go to the separate rooms and put them where they need to go and all that fun stuff so for the sake of time I'm just gonna go ahead open up the stuff that I have so a lot of you guys know that my birthday is coming up it's actually August 14th which is about you know a little over a month from now but I've been thinking about it like my birthday is looking like it's gonna be a quarantine type birthday I might have to like you know do zoom calls with family members and stuff and just have them join me virtually so um i definitely wanted to have like a birthday photo shoot i definitely wanted to have like more decor compared to what i did last year which was like much smaller um so i bought this like set it looks really childish but it's really not like this it's like a rose gold type style with like these balloons that have like 
golden circular confetti in it. See it? But um, yeah, these are the circular confetti that's in it. I bought tassels. And this one is in size two. So this is the balloon, the number two. So that's awesome. So like my birthday stuff. I got this um thing for my toothpaste. Basically, it comes with this thing that goes on the wall, right? I guess, yeah, it sticks onto the wall. And <laughs> it's so interesting, guys. And then, I don't know why this thing's moving around. Maybe it's broken, I don't know. But the idea is that you should be able to put your toothpaste in here. And then when you push something, it allows you to squeeze your toothpaste out. Let me see, can it go? You just gonna bring it all the way down. So you put it in here. This is the opening. And I'm wondering if this thing is actually broken. I think it might be, it might be broken, guys. Cause like, what is actually, oh, but I can open it, okay. I might have just broken it. Um, okay, so I can see that there's these two openings right here. Like there's a hole here, and there's a hole on the other side. And this thing has like two things. So I'm guessing that's where it goes, I don't know. But I'm guessing this way. Because my, tooth, my toothbrush is supposed to like push and squeeze. I wonder if it's actually gonna work. I bought these things for my bathroom decor, so if it actually works, I will definitely be showing you guys um, my bathroom decor stuff, or not just bathroom decor, but I bought a lot of home decor things. So if it works, or just my thoughts on it, I'll definitely be showing you guys an update on you know what I think about it and stuff. Oh, that's cool. So I just fixed it, and basically, you're supposed to push this, like your toothpaste pushes it. Your toothbrush, you guys know what I mean. The toothbrush pushes, and the toothpaste is supposed to come out. And the fun thing about this is that you can leave it on the wall. And that's less space being taken up inside my bathroom, which is a major plus. Just have to peel this part off, stick it on the wall exactly where I want it. And yeah, I have this. So now oh, let's see what else. Ooh. So I bought this shirt. It's supposed to be oversized and wow. I think I went a size up and it's still oversized. Oh wait, no, this is a small. <gasps> this is a small, guys. Are you kidding me? It says, I went to go jogging, but Proverbs 28 verse one says, the wicked run when no one is chasing them. So there's that. <laughs> Christian humor and their shirts. It's actually really, really soft. I was like gonna wear it out like for this little mini photo shoot because I saw myself in this with like some shorts and like sneakers um, and like, I don't know what hairstyle, but maybe like a ponytail or something. I think it'll be really cute. But I think I'm actually gonna sleep in it as well. Like after I get that photo shoot, this is probably gonna end up being something that I sleep in because it's so big. A t-shirt dress if I wanted to, really oversized. And I could already see myself wearing it with a belt or something, you know? Just cinch in the waist. This, okay, this is a, um, you know when you get buyer's remorse? As soon as I realized I had purchased this and I forgot to take it out of my cart, I was like, oh no, that's such a waste. So I wanted to get this fake bookshelf thing that they had initially because I was thinking of a photo shoot again. Um, so I kind of wanted to like have myself sitting on a couch or like, you know, in one of those like fancy chairs and stuff and then have like the bookshelf in the background. So it seemed like I went to the library and I'm reading because I do read a lot, um, especially since this quarantine started, I've had a lot more time back and um, I've just been able to read a lot more. I like that they put this um, thing here to keep it. Well, this is really long. And a lot of people said they had to buy two, so now I understand why. But honestly speaking, I think for the idea or like what I wanna do, it looks like a miniature bookshelf, so like I can still have it like 
taped onto the wall and it comes with a sticky thing, I believe. I'll be a waste if it doesn't come with it, to be honest. Okay, so it does. It looks like this white stuff separates. Yes, and it's sticky. We love it, we love it, we love it. So there's the bottom of the bookshelf and then the top of the bookshelf. Yeah, my fake bookshelf. So if you do see it in some pictures and stuff, don't be alarmed. I didn't leave my house. I don't have all those books. Yeah, I don't have that many books. <laughs> I have a lot of books, but not as much as is in the bookshelf. So I'm actually gonna put this in the bin because I'm not using it right now. That was another shirt. <laughs> I don't know what it is with me, but I wanted like some neon looking stuff. So I got two orange shirts and I realized I've never owned anything orange like ever <gasps> it's so cute it says baby girl on it and it's tiny it's obviously a crop top but like for me it fits like right below my belly button so yeah my belly button is like right here so it's perfect it just says baby girl it's cute isn't it i like i like and again the quality and this is in size small, so of course I'll be trying these on. So this is what the shirt looks like, the crop top. And I thought it covered my belly button, but my belly button is actually still down here. But I still really like it. This is baby girl. It's really cute. You know. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you're not already doing so, so you can see me um, in these shirts and see how I style them. Oh no, this is not the right color. Uh, four of these flowers. Please don't smell bad. Please don't smell bad. Please. Okay. They don't have a weird scent. Thank God. It's supposed to have three on them. So these are the three flowers. Of course, I have to like fluff them out and stuff. And this is the rose. And they bent it for whatever reason. But you can bend it back and it's really long actually. Wow. That's perfect because you never know what you want to do. This came up to about $3. And I bought four of them. So I'm gonna keep some in the bathroom and I'm also gonna put them on the table. I don't think this is the right color, but it's so pretty. I have our one, two, three. And of course you guys saw this, this is the fourth one. These are gonna go in the bathroom. So again, I am gonna put them outside of the bin because your girl gonna be decorating the bathroom so a mat specifically for the kitchen because I thought it was really cute. You guys see that? It's a little bit like bleach, but it's perfect because I can put it right by the um by the sink. And so everything just gets on here and it's gonna bring some color and some life to the kitchen. And all I gotta do is find something that matches with it so that the rest of my kitchen decor is coordinated. So it's gonna be there. So anything that I'm using right now, decorating the apartment today maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep it nearby. This, I don't know what this is. Oh, I know what this is. Oh, this is interesting. It's not paper, so it won't rip. Oh, wow. So I accidentally bought two sets of these. It comes with this print. Like they're all like similar but different. And I already have like a vision for like my greenery theme in the bathroom. I just need to find the right, um, the right, like, picture frames for it. I also envision myself making it a different size, so like cutting it so that it fits exactly in a picture frame, kind of like this. Yeah, kind of like, I don't know, I would like overlap it in a way that it like all fits together, or even like cut it so that it can come together and tape it together or whatever but I haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna do with it yet. So I'm gonna put that in the bin just until we figure out our lives, right? 
If I don't need it, I'm probably gonna give it away, but it's cute. I actually bought for my dad because his birthday is also coming up. His birthday is July, July 3rd, July 23rd. So um, we are most likely gonna celebrate his birthday by me. And I have like all his decor stuff, which I'm really excited for. It's gonna be really cute. I hope you're not watching this video, Daddy, at least not before your birthday. <laughs> if you did, you're probably gonna see like how your decor is gonna look. Anyway, I'm putting that in the bin, but it's really cute. I love their um, stuff. And again, as I'm showing you guys this stuff, I'm also gonna show the prices so you guys are aware of it. This other thing that I bought was for the bathroom. It is an electric toothbrush holder. I thought I just bought a regular toothbrush holder. Well, that's fine. It's durable enough that it can hold it. So um, you wipe the surface and you put this on and you just put your toothbrush in. I'm actually gonna open it up. Magic sticker. <laughs> At least that's what they call it. It says electric toothbrush insulation magic sticker. <laughs> so. so interesting to see like YouTubers as they're doing their haul, they can like read and do all these other things at the same time. But yeah, the magic sticker is back here. I just have to take this thing off. And then of course I'll see the stickiness and then you just open it up, you put your toothbrush in and then you close it. That's really why I got it because I really wanted to like keep my toothbrushes in some places safe, but it's showing me how I should keep my toothbrushes. I should face it that way. Um, I wanted to like keep my toothbrushes secure and I also didn't like keeping it by the sink. I wanted to keep it like on the wall or somewhere where it's not taking up space because I really want to make sure that the bathroom, like the sink is clear basically. So like I just take what I need to use and put it back and everything looks like neat and tidy. That's gold right there. So of course I'm putting this to the side because I'm gonna be putting that up soon as well. So I was doing a, um, what's that called? I had a Pinterest account, right? So I specifically made a Pinterest account because I wanted to like have different ideas of how I want my decor to look. And one of the things that caught my eye was a shower curtain that had like, it was like a shower like overhead with like water drops, like artwork, and it was really cute. But then I was like, that's kind of boring because I don't want everything to be black and white. My bathroom's pink and white, so I wanted to incorporate something else. So that's why I'm thinking of putting the um the greenery in it, along with this, which says get naked. <laughs> and of course I got this because I'm gonna put it right by the shower. So obviously when you come out of the, when you're going into the bathroom and you're going into the shower, you're supposed to get naked so you can shower, right? So, <laughs> that's really corny. But these mats are actually really nice. They're like, they're good quality for, you know, what they're for. And I like the back. And I'm looking at this right now, it has a little bit of a stain on it. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's very faint. Um, it's like right down here, that line. But yeah, like I said, it's very fake. So that was the back of this, like durable, has like little grips and stuff. Yeah, the other one also has the same thing, it's just a different color. Why? Why did I buy extra balloons? Oh, you know what? Yeah, somebody in the comments for my birthday decor stuff, they were like, they didn't have enough of the balloons that had the, um, the sequin stuff in it. Can you guys kind of see that? It has like this, it's literally like circular, um, yeah, I guess you could say sequins. So when you blow it up, it's gonna look like really decorated and stuff. And it comes with some orange balloons, which hopefully has a different color later on. But it's gonna be fun having a quarantine birthday. And of course, I'm gonna get the start off with like my dad's, see how that goes. And then of course, part for mine, but very, very excited. I got this because I never had like one of these and like when I've been doing my dishes and stuff, I just feel like kind of annoyed because like I use steel wool and I'm like, okay, I gotta switch it out every second. But like, I think it'll be good just to have this like brush, dish, brush, whatever. So I can like scrub, scrub, scrub and I can wash it and reuse it and I don't have to worry about throwing it out because it's getting like, I guess moldy or not moldy, but like, um, you know, steel wool it like gets really bad. Yeah, you can say rusty. Yeah, rusty after a while. But this I can just clean it, put it away, reuse, etc. I really like it and it's tiny enough 
that it's not gonna take up too much space. Like, look, it's the size of my face. But yeah, I'm gonna keep this to the side because I am gonna be using this soon. Wow, your girl bought a lot of stuff. Then there's this one. Oh, I know what this one is. There's another one that's gonna go in the bathroom. So this is styrofoam. So this says, yeah, upside down. It says so fresh and so clean, clean. So I imagine this with the, let me see if I can kind of show y'all my idea, okay? This with this on both sides of it in the bathroom. Like, can y'all see that vision? <gasps> I know you can see it. And then of course on the other side, okay, let me see. Let me, let me kind of show y'all. So it's gonna say so fresh and so clean, clean. Not bad, I was really moving the wrong one. So, and then you have this on both sides. Obviously it's gonna be spaced out, like they're not gonna be right next to each other, but that's like my idea. Oh, it's coming together, I'm so excited. No, that would be really cute. And then I have like pinkish walls. I wish I had gotten a like a darker shade, or like, but um, it would just have to do. This is the number four because I'm turning 24 this year. So um, I got the two and I got the four. I wanted to try out before I committed to like one from like, um, what's it called? From like Home Depot. So this is one of those uh, like easy like switch nozzles. So like you connect this to your sink, your pipe and your sink, whatever. And then like, let's say you're washing your hair or anything like that and you wanna do it in the sink instead of in the shower. I always do my hair in the shower because I have the shower head, but like just whatever you're trying to rinse or you wanna like really focus the nozzle instead of like moving this, the actual pipe around, you just put this. I thought this would be more stretchy, but it's fine. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how I can switch the different settings. Oh, it does turn, okay. So you hold, nope, that's not what it does. And I got this case, this phone case. Cause I'm kind of tired of my phone case right now. It's just been driving me up the wall. So I ended up getting a mirror phone case. Wow. I just see Mac and Cena just now, but this is my mirror phone case. But um, it's cute. Let me see if it's my phone. Cause I told them like, see this is what's happening to my case right now. And this part just cracked. Like, talk about perfect timing, because, like, the two sides were coming off, but now this part just, like, broke. So, let me take off the case and show y'all just how bad it is then. So, all of this is a mess. Wow. And I had this case since, um, I think I bought two cases when I first got my XR last year. Um, and... Yeah, I just ended up gravitating towards this one, and I don't know where the other case is, to be honest. But, I have a new case. Let's see how it is. I definitely need to get a screen protector, by the way. i just been slacking. Let's see. Oh, on the bottom, this part, I think you have to take it out. Let me get this on first. This part. Yep, yep. Okay, it fits, ooh. I like, the only thing is my fingerprint is getting all up on this. But yeah, it fits really well. And, oh my gosh, I feel like I have a brand new phone. Yeah, this is not protecting my screen at all. But, I like it. And now all I gotta do is put like a cute sticker or something on it, like a nice message, a reminder to myself, I don't know yet. But like just something on it will be really cute. Or even one of those, I think I have one of those stick on pocky things where you can like hold your phone easily. I don't know what I want to do yet. But yeah, I like it. Same, this bottom part, I just have to take this part out. Oh no, I don't have to take it out. It closes. Oh, it has something to like close it and protect it. I like it now. I like it more now. Check whenever I'm doing my makeup. If I'm doing my makeup in the car, I just like check. Okay, we good. And then just move right on with life. 
but I know this is not secure and I'm always gonna be wiping this because my fingerprint is being picked up on it. But yeah, I like it. The buttons work well, but like, you know, that works well. I really like this case and it was like $3. Last but not least is this cute little thing. I really hope I got everything from my haul. If I'm forgetting anything, I'll come back to you guys. But I got this cute little thing. Like I have something similar to it. But this is for when I do my skincare routine. I already recorded a skincare routine video that I just never posted. I'll post that sometime soon. But like my updated skincare routine. I'm just going to put this on my head. Ah, look at how cute. No, this is really cute though. The bow and everything. I love it. I'm glad that I bought that. And it was like, I don't remember the price, but all, everything here was cheap. Everything came up to like $113, which is a steal. The only thing I was a little devastated about was the fact that this is really small, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So I'm really excited about everything that I bought. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And look out for my home decor series coming up very, very soon. Thanks again for watching, friends. Be blessed, spread love, and stay beautiful inside and out. Bye.